Okay, you play the librarian. Yes. Typecasting? Um, not really, <laughs> although I do love reading. Um, I don't think I'm a, as uptight as she is. She might be uptight, but through Marion the librarian, we are taken to River City, Iowa, and transported to the fast-talking world of traveling salesman Harold Hill, the central character in the award-winning Broadway musical, The Music Man. And why do we love Music Man? You love it because of the music, of course, and because there's very simple mes messages that still resonate, which is, you know, accepting people for who they are. The story follows Harold Hill as he cons the people of River City into buying instruments and uniforms for a boys' band he vows to organize. This, despite the fact he doesn't know a trombone from a treble clef. Our Harold Hill, Michael Gold, is, is so lovable from the moment he steps on stage. You, you don't have a hard time wanting him to succeed and in the end wanting him to do the right thing and to be that good guy we all know he is. The message that this mother of four wants her kids to learn from the show. But more than that, the Music Man is an ideal place for kids to witness the magic that live theater has to offer. My parents brought me here to see a show when I was, I think, six or seven. And I was sitting in one of those seats out there and I just thought, that's what I want to do. And so I did my first show here when I was nine. And, and I've grown up here, and that's all it takes is just to expose kids to this. Um, I think it touches people in a way that no other medium does. There's nothing better than live theater. Along with Sally, the music man stars Michael Gold as Harold Hill and is directed by Corey Mooseman. It's showing at the Fine Arts Center for the remaining three weekends in May. In Colorado Springs, Megan Collier, Fox 21 News.